can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you What's up guys? Welcome back to the Welcome back to another video. Today I'm starting the vlog out in my house. I uh, see so the 435 right there just chilling. Actually, I don't think you guys saw it. Right there, just chilling. And then we also have the 650 out. Today we'll be taking the 650 out of the shop and start getting working on it. Because I really want to start making this thing look a lot better. It's just not looking that great, you know? So we fixed it cosmetically, which is great, you know. I'm still waiting for the turn signal. I ordered that one. I still can't find anyone selling that for a decent price. I'm waiting for that turn signal as well. We got some bulbs that came in, and we also have the PCV valve. Finally, we have all the mods in the trunk for this car so let's go ahead and get, replace both pcv valves it is also leaking coolant all of a sudden so i don't know what's going on with that maybe the radiator is cracked so let's go ahead put in the P new pcv valves hopefully the idle will go back to normal hopefully no smoke and at the same time put in some coolant and hopefully this will get us to the shop and then we can diagnose what's going on with the coolant leak what we're gonna have to do is go ahead and remove this guy and that one and once you remove these two we can go ahead and replace both pcv valves so unfortunately i don't have my tripod here so we're gonna go in time mode kind of in a distance and then we'll just get this thing done It's actually very easy to get to. So here's one PCV valve. Just gonna go ahead and take off all this rubber housing, and that's the other PCV valve. And here is the new one, new gasket, new ring, new everything. And you also have the second one right here. Actually, they sent me four of them because they sent me this. It took forever to get here, and they sent me this one now. So anywho, now I have four. I only need two, but I'll go ahead and use two of them. Replace this one and this one. We should be good to go. Look at that, guys. And that's how why it looks. Look at this. I'm just gonna take this apart. Completely destroyed. Oh my god. So yeah, I'm gonna have to clean all that out, and then we're gonna have to replace all this. All right, guys. I just cleaned that one out to the best of my ability and this went out to the best of my ability with the tools that I had here but I think it'd be perfectly fine let's just go ahead and throw in the new gaskets and the new seals I'm super stoked about this because this should fix my idle issue and uh, I have four of these just in case these go bad again I have two more yeah, just gotta put the ring in just like that put the gasket on just like that oh that looks so much better so much okay cool cool oh that looks so much better guys Check that out. Seals up perfectly. That is exactly what I'm talking about. And then go ahead and stop this thing on. Ah, I might need two hands for this. And just like that, guys, went ahead and replaced that one. Went ahead and replaced that one. Let's go ahead and throw the engine cover on. We are good to go. And then we gotta figure out the whole cooling issue. I'm gonna drive this down to Walmart. It's only a few blocks, and hopefully we can figure out what's going on with it. Um, we need to get some distilled water. I have concentrated coolant, but I have no distilled water, unfortunately. All right, guys, for some reason the top doesn't want to work sometimes. Hopefully it works. Please, please. Yes. Yes. It is so hot today. Oh my god, yes. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't want to work. Sometimes it works. So thank the Lord. Today it works. So uh, hopefully it works all day because it's such a sunny day here in California. Now that's working. Let's head down to Walmart. Thankfully the top works. Guys, sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. There's a sensor that's broken. So I will have to get a new sensor. But um, I'm just glad it worked. Now guys, we are here at Walmart. Hopefully the roof closes and hopefully it'll be able to go back down as soon as we get out of here. Um, Please, 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 please. Because I have so much stuff back here. Come on. Okay. The sensor on the top of this thing is like, it's called the locking sensor. It's not working. If you guys know where that's located, you guys have a 650 and know where a locking sensor is, let me know. Okay, it locked pretty good. I'm really happy with that. And it's rolling up all the windows. So yeah, it has everything functions. This is the stupid sensor. So let me know if you guys know what's going on with that. Car is running perfectly. No rough idle, no low idle. We are good on that. We need to get some air on the tires once we finish up with Walmart. So let's go to Walmart, get some coolant, and then let's head to the gas station and pump up our tires. Damn, 80 cents? I'll take two. All right, guys, let's go ahead and just top it off. I'm going to go ahead and top it off with some distilled just in case this thing is leaking. Um, but uh, if it's taking a lot of water, then I'll start putting in some coolant. All right, guys, here at the gas station, I'm just going to put in air on all four. Why not, you know? 38 in the rear, 32 in the front. So let's go ahead and make sure both rears are 38 and do the front both 32. no lights on the dash that's perfect we got a whole bunch of errors but no actual lights on the dash we went ahead and fixed everything in a quick little easy morning let's go ahead and hope our top goes down it's so hot today um go ahead and hold that please please hell yeah made it to the shop boys that's all i'm talking about so hopefully we can get this thing 100% uh, ready for wrap, hopefully in today's video. And just get all the things situated, like the light bulbs. We got a lot of things we gotta work on today. It looks like Jonathan's building his new bench. It looks like he took a break. He probably gave up. Oh, hell no. You think that cart is gonna build itself? The shop is empty, guys. Like, it's kind of crazy to think about. We got all the mods that I ordered. It's officially here. And shout out to you guys. Valvetronic didn't end up sending that exhaust. I do want to announce something before we go, before we move on with this video, but I'm just gonna help out Jonathan with his little situation over here. And then uh, we'll get to what the big news is. And lo and behold, how you yeah. feeling, Johnny? Dude, finally. This thing's man, dude. This is from Harbor Freight? Harbor Freight. I got it on sale. Check this out, guys. 215. Not bad. Okay. So you're gonna lock this. And that, that locks, Good luck. all these lock, so that's like, sick. 
latches too. Oh. I might need to cop one of these. I might just need to. Also, I already want to give a special shout out to somebody for um Oh, on, yeah. your, on your channel as well? But I think he's, he, yeah, why not? You know, yeah, like, he, he actually said he, he's uh, a supporter of both of us, yeah. so might as well. So, Boosted Beamers. Boosted Beamers. I don't know if you're going to throw it up, but Boosted Yeah, Beamers Boosted Beamers, basically. Uh, he really helped me out with this. Yeah, <laughs> so. he reached out and he's like, I watch you. I, he watches me and Jonathan, so he wants to, you know, help oh, out so, Jonathan yeah. with uh, this thing looks hey, sick. I'm going to use this for detailing, you know, when we got the cars up on the lift. It's gonna be sick. God bless. This is so God nice. Bless. So come up for him. Shout out to see Boosted what? Boosted Beamer. Shout out to you, my guy. Um, anyway, speaking of shout outs and all that stuff, I am actually working on the list of everyone that purchased merch to support the channel. So I'll be throwing up everyone's names right here that actually purchased, you know, decals, the hashtag CBMW stuff, all the limited edition merch. Everyone's names is gonna be right there for purchasing stuff in the first week of the 100K special. But now, uh, while I'm making that, I'm actually gonna be releasing another plaque right here. Like I told you guys, I wanna have like a whole wall and eventually host some car meets here and you guys can come down here and check it out. I wanna basically have this wall dedicated to you guys. Kinda of something I wanna build here. So I'm gonna be making another plaque for the 650i. You guys can see, it needs a lot of work. It's a lot of money and um, yeah, I can use some support from you guys. And at the same time, this is an opportunity for you guys to get shout out on the channel and be permanently featured on this wall. So if you guys look at the E92 M3 build, everyone that donated it is like right here um i actually put like people that donated a lot i know jeremy hall i will forever give him a shout out he donated so much to this bill so shout out to him i'm actually not taking donations i'm basically gonna make it a new plaque but for the 650i 2007 for every person that spends over 20 dollars in the hashtag 7 bmw store your name will be mentioned on here so just cop you know a jet tag air freshener some stickers 20 bucks and then you guys' name will be featured on this wall for once supporting your man and for the second thing i'll be shouting you out in the next video and you're gonna be supporting the bill so 20 dollars is gonna help out your man a lot and I'm not asking for donations. Basically, you guys just go down to the store, get whatever you like. As soon as you hit the $20 threshold, you guys are featured. Anywho, I don't want to keep talking about that. I'm going to be mentioning each video, and I'm going to be shouting out every single person that purchases things the next day or the next video. So anything you guys purchase today or tomorrow will be mentioned in the next video, hopefully. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get the car in here. All right, guys, you probably have seen this is all in black and white, mainly because, you know, the wrap is here, and I can't show you guys the wrap. You know, it's just, it's immoral me. I can't show you, you know? So it is what it is on that. Anywho, but you guys can see Valvetronic. So shout out to Valvetronic, and shout out to you you guys for getting this exhaust you guys you guys got them to a thousand subscribers actually you guys surpassed the a thousand subscribers which is absolutely insane it's here? two valvetronic mufflers it's, it's here yep no nope, it's here okay. we got the wrap we got the steering wheel we got the springs dude we're gonna send it we have to send it all right guys so first things first we already got this whole side of the bumper bondoed up i might actually bondo a little bit more over here because there's a little bit of a crack and i kind of want it to be as perfect as possible so i'm gonna add a little bit of more bondo over here sand that down i'm gonna go ahead and sand down these screw holes and then take off this a tune i mean it really doesn't matter that's not going to show through the wrap but i do want to get that off as well we are going to be putting in the grills and then last but not least this crack end up showing through again so uh this this is exactly how i want the fender as you guys can see there's play and that's why it cracked again. So I'm just gonna put a lot of Bondo right here. I'm um, sanding down, put a lot of Bondo, you know, just make it as good as possible. And then eventually we just wrap over. It is what it is. These fenders, they're notorious for cracking right here. So there's nothing else that can be done. And then over here as well, I'm gonna add just a little bit of Bondo to fix up that crack. making some good progress i have this thing fully masked up i know i use a lot of tape i don't really care it's a dollar tree tape it doesn't cost me too much but yeah this is slightly not leveled i sealed it up from the back but it needs some bondo to level out in the front uh same goes with this i just use some putty make it perfect uh, i already used bondo that's good the front we pretty much already uh, i just need to sand it down i pretty much got rid of all the holes and everything and this side i perfected the issue that we were having so i think this bumper is really coming together i think this fender is really coming together it sucks that i had to pay for these two and i still have to fix them it's just 
because of how hard it is to find these parts. Anywho, I'm really happy with this. Let's just go ahead and finish up the rest of this fender. Where the car is at the front sanded down and fixed that sanded down and fixed and uh this whole side which is the biggest piece got fixed and then this right here probably just needs a little bit more sanding but it's leveled so the wrap shouldn't be you shouldn't be able to notice anything i'm gonna give it a little bit more sanding because i don't really like the texture uh, but this is smooth as butter really happy with that and then obviously i'm just gonna try to get the car out a little bit and just wipe it down out here before i get it on the lift because it's gonna cause huge you know, massacre, look, look at that, come on. So uh, let me just get it out, wipe it down a little bit, sand it down just a little bit more and uh, get it up on the lift. We gotta fix the headlights because those aren't working and I'm not enjoying driving this thing at night. By the way guys, actually, for those of you guys who only watch the six series videos and haven't watched the 435 videos, I announced that on this car, I finally got it registered. New plates, registration, car is good to go. It is under my name. So that means after this video, getting every little thing fixed for the most part, we're gonna be able to get this thing wrapped, throw on all the mods and make this thing an absolute legend of a 650i. It is a 650i, it's a V8. It's supposed to be treated like a legend. So we're gonna make it a legend. Anywho, let's go ahead and get this thing out, clean it up and uh, just sand it down a little bit more. Since my power wash broke, I'm gonna go ahead and use some shine armor. If you guys wanna use my discount code right there, you guys will get a fat discount plus free shipping. So check out my discount code. Without further ado, let's go ahead and wash it down. This headlight is finally working out of nowhere and this one just the halos are working. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's the actual modules or the bulbs. I'm just gonna go ahead and replace both of the daytime running lights. So at least you have daytime running lights, we can drive this thing home. So uh, let's just get it up in the air, take off the wheels and figure out what's going on with the whole headlight situation. Guys, these are such a pain to put on. Oh my God, let me go ahead and figure out how to do the other side real quick. And I finally got this one and I actually have high hopes that both sides are gonna work now. Whoever that had this car before me did not know how to install either bulb. He broke that bulb and this bulb wasn't even in all the way. So that's why this one will be on and off. So that makes complete sense. So now I think we should have daytime running lights. So I have to go ahead and place an order on some white halos, but hopefully as long as the daytime running lights are good, this car can actually go on the road legally. It already has plates. The only thing I was worried about is the headlight. So let's go ahead and test it out. Three, two, one. Damn it guys, this one, is not working unfortunately that one's working hella bright this one looks beautiful we still gotta figure out what's going on with that um damn that sucks as much of a pain it was to reinstall the actual resistors i do think that this resistor is good and that one could be bad and that costs so much money but the only way to test it is by moving this resistor to this side and actually testing it so let's go ahead and take this resistor out it's gonna be an absolute pain but we've done it i think we could do it again I just switched the module over to this side. As you can see, that one's working. This one's not working, which means it leads us to be the resistor. So my resistor is bad. I'm gonna have to order a new resistor. That's unfortunate. Uh, but at least one of my headlights are working, which means I can see at night. And the halos are working on this side. So it's just this headlight is completely shot. It is what it is. I went ahead and ordered a new turn signal. I just need one more turn signal on this side. I'm this close to breaking my fast. So if you guys are also fasting in this month of Ramadan, you guys know at about 8.05ish, at least if you're in the United States, it's about time for you to break your fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting this car together. At least I have one headlight working, which means I can get home without crashing or anything like that. My taillights are working just fine. So I feel safe on the road. Let's go ahead and just assemble the rest of this car and uh, get the sucker home. I'm gonna be doing this with most of my builds. So if you guys wanna be part of the 650i, check out that link down below. But after the new guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.